It's getting <clears throat> hot in here. Please keep on all of your oh. clothes. Please. Hey, welcome back <laughs> to our stupid reaction. Hey, I'm Corbin. I'm Ashley. I'm Alexis. I'm Rick. And today we will be reacting. <laughs> He's really musical today. To uh, a called Monto. Monto. Man, Monto. <laughs> That's how would you pronounce M A N T O. Monto. Monto. I thought it was three words. Monto. 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 I think it's a name. Monto. It's with Django. It's with Nawazuddin. What huh? Nawazuddin. Nawazuddin Nawazuddin Siddiqui. And it came out last year. <laughs> what came out last year? Um. <laughs> I mean, a bunch of people. Happy Pride. The snarl. Um, but wow. Uh, don't know what this is about, but it has Nawaz, so that'll be good. That's Nawaz. cool. Here we go. Let's do it. Let me tell you where Kainas <laughs> Mertun just missed a match. I'm not going to take some. अगर आप मेरा सारों को बर्दाश्त नहीं कर सकते तो इसका मतलब यह है कि जमाना ही ना काबिल बर्दाश्त सुनाम हाँ कोर्ट ने तुम्हें बाइस बरी कर दिया जल्दी से उतारो बड़ा छह जन हो गए आपके अफसरों में औरतों के लिए हमेशा एक खास हमदर्दी होती है और औरत के लिए कुछ तो उसके लिए जो खुद को बेच तो नहीं रही लेकिन लोगों से धीरे धीरे फिरते जा रहे और कुछ उसके लिए जो रात को जागती है और दिन को सोते में डरावना खाब तक टूट जाती है कि बुढ़ापा उसके दरवाजे से दस तक दे विश्वास नहीं हो रहा कि हमारा मुल्क आजाद है तुम एक आजाद हिंदुस्तान में पैदा हो गए जब गुलाम थे तो आजादी का ख्वाब देखते थे और अब आजाद हैं तो कौन सा ख्वाब देखेंगे तुम बैठे करो मैं इतने लिखूंगा कि तुम भूखे नहीं मरो यही तो फिक्र है कि आपके लिखने की वजह से ही हम भूखे मरेंगे मंडो साहब आपकी कहानी ठंडा दोस्त पर फांसी का केस है ये मंडो साहब का एक शाहकार अफसाना अगर एक तरफ आप लिखने की आजादी चाहते हैं दूसरी तरफ आपको एक राइटर की जिम्मेदारी भी समझनी चाहिए सच तो हर किस नहीं बोलने चाहिए वो सफेद पार देने चाहिए जो हमें पसंद ना सब पीछे देख रहे हैं लेकिन नाज के पातिल लहू और लोहे से तारीख लिखते जा रहे पाकिस्तान एंड हिंदुस्तान एंड मंडो सरप्राइज ये अनदर फिल्म फ्रॉम इंडिया दैट लुक्स लाइक इट्स गोना बी इंपोर्टेंट एंड इनक्रेडिबल ये सो आई वाओ आई एम गेसिंग इट्स लाइक ऑब्वियसली फ्रॉम व्हेन दे गॉट देयर इंडिपेंडेंस एंड देन struggling with basically what the rights of yeah. uh, the freedom of the press and, and clearly it's a biopic it's about yeah. Sadiqi's character uh, Manto I'm guessing is his name I guess uh, uh, I don't know but uh, I'll look up the synopsis but what y'all what y'all think ladies looks very important but could be very intense yeah it mm -hmm. looks super intense looks great yeah and, and it actually frame for frame I was harkening me back to we did this with another film recently where uh, frame for frame it reminds me a lot and this is saying a lot reminds me a lot of Spielberg's work. Mm. Um mm -hmm. uh, the trailer for Lincoln, the trailer mm. for Bridge of Spies. Yeah. Some of his more recent work that he's done that's been the dramatic okay. turns that he does. Uh which is saying a lot because I absolutely adore Spielberg's direction. <clears throat> and and Siddiqui, I mean, come on. And did you see there was quote this is international attraction. I, my guess is this had international buzz because you've got they quoted the Hollywood Reporter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously you yeah. saw the word important in yeah. there. Mhm. Mm Sorry, I'm, uh, yeah, no, the film is a bi uh, biographical, biographical account. account. Yeah. Our, sorry, I thought you were going to go ahead. Just go. <laughs> word for word, we'll just go back no. and forth. The film is a biographical account of writer Sadat Hassan Manto's life and is set in, 19, in 1940s India. 
time. So that yeah. would tell us exactly. Like it doesn't really. So I'm guessing he writes certain us. things and they don't know if they want him mm -hmm. to write that kind of stuff. Yeah. I guess so. Um, or something of that ilk. Um, yeah. It, one of the lines that just really jumped out at me was the, the quintessential what seems to be artist and the wife who um, right. is not yeah. an artist yeah. and him saying one day our words are going to help us not starve yeah. mm -hmm. and she said your words are what are making us starve yeah mm -hmm. yeah most artists can relate to it, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> this was directed by Nada, how do you, would you pronounce that name? It's a female. Nandita Das. Nandia? Nandita. Oh yeah, Nandita Das. And uh, we haven't reacted to any of her stuff. She also acts as well and she writes. Did she write and direct this Yes, well? she wrote it oh, and directed wow. it. Must um, be a deep wow. passion project for her. Um, and then obviously has Nawazuddin in it. Of course, who, uh, how much of Nawazuddin's work have you guys seen? I know he's a familiar face to you now. It's like you go, oh, mm -hmm. I've seen like in trailers, but I don't think you've actually seen Nawazuddin uh, do like a full film. One of the this. best actors, period. Period. Yeah, we don't, we, we don't, um, not just India. Just we get asked period. that question a lot, like favorite Indian films and favorite Indian actors, which I get. I, I, I truly get that because yeah. I understand it because it is and should be a standalone. Like Hollywood right. is a standalone. Each country should have their standalone. Yeah. But in the larger picture of the art form. Oh yeah, he could act alongside Daniel anybody who was in and match him. There's, really. I could rattle off ten names yeah. of actors and actresses in India cinema yeah. that we've seen. Mm -hmm. I could rattle off probably twenty names instantly that would hold their own against any actor on earth. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. guy wouldn't just hold his own. Mm -hmm. You've said it many times. He's the Gary Oldman oh, of yeah. Indian cinema mm -hmm. that we've seen. Hundred percent. And we, we haven't seen all of his work yet. No, we've seen very little. No, he's of his work. brilliant. Yeah. So it was released in India in May of last year, but this year in March here. Yeah, so interesting. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Like so it got international buzz and then had a release was here. Released here. And when year. when what in March. March fifth of was released in, in the United States. That's weird. They usually <gasps> release at the same time. We missed it. Well, we missed the release. Well, we also missed that because I didn't see that at the Lamb Lair yeah. in Simi Valley. It was probably like Lucifer. Lem it went to, I know, Corella, but it probably went to one theater like Lucifer did. Maybe. Maybe. Probably. Which bugs me so much. Yeah, we live in L.A. If you can't find it in L.A., you're not going to find it anywhere. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> even, even here in L.A., guys, you like, you know, the foreign films, <coughs> you would think here Maybe where not. the Academy is located and where the Oscars take place, mm -hmm. You can't find the foreign films as easily. You have to search them out. I mean, we know because we've done it for years. Well, and then no forget way, no. if you're trying to get into the short films and the animated shorts. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's Perhaps just, like. unless you're a member of the Academy or you pay attention like we do, you're not going to find them. Mm. Yeah. yeah. At all. Like, um, great Indian film. Like, all these people we're having our eyes open to. It just it boggles the mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, let us know how it is. Uh, if it is worth a watch. Um, 